I risk the answer. <laughs> All right, sorry for the delay, folks. Uh, we're ready to start. Next up, we have Risky, and he's going to talk about uh, Python, super powerful education technology. Take it away. Okay. Thank, uh, thank you, Misa. Okay, uh, today uh, I'm going to talking about uh, Python, superpower for education technology. Actually, the uh, title is uh, for blended learning, uh, but I think uh, uh, because of blended learning is a part of uh, the education technology, so I will uh, go through the with the uh, education technology. Okay, mm. my name is uh, Rizky Aristianza. Uh, currently, uh, I'm volunteer at uh, Mozilla and and. I'm active as a Mozilla tech speaker, and now uh, I work for my own company, which is uh, I'm a founder and a business strategist of the, uh, the name is Valutak. So uh, I, ma I manage a small team of uh, IT consultant in Indonesia. Yeah, I am from Indonesia. And uh, I'm not from a computer science. Uh, I said that former tax management student, yeah, I study about uh, tax and, and uh, management. I never study about uh, computer science or uh, anything. But uh, I try. I I learned about uh, Python yeah, a few few years ago because uh, I'm really interested uh, with the the easy of Py uh, with the easy the powerful of uh, Python. Uh, and uh, two years ago, uh, I I tried to go. Uh, I tried to join the education technology ecosystem in Indonesia. So I found a Python is the good superpower for uh, for the education technology. So yeah, if you have a line and Telegram, I have a sticker for you. You, you, yeah, you guys can ju just uh, download my sticker. So I'm the guy who always wearing blue, but I'm not like Mark Zuckerberg who always uh, wearing a gray. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's talk to uh, our agenda. So I, w I will separate our agenda uh, into three. First, uh, we talk about the learning. We talk about the education technology. We talk about the uh, what is uh, inside of the uh, uh, education technology. And the next, we talk about the ar architecture of the uh, education technology. But in this case, uh, we will use uh, uh, OpenEdX platform. How many of you have heard about OpenEdX? No? One, two, three, four. OK, cool. OK, uh, I'll, I'll talk about uh, uh, it later. And uh, uh, the la last is uh, data. We will talk about the data, how uh, I use uh, Python, to analyze the data inside of the uh, Open EDX platform, uh, so I can uh, like uh, predict uh, the uh, for the next course. I can predict the measurement of uh, the student inside of the education technology course. Okay, uh, we'll go with uh, learning. So this is a uh, you know this one. Uh, this is a classroom, but this is a classroom uh, 40 or uh, 50 years ago. And uh, this one, uh, this is a uh, classroom uh, today. You know, what is the difference between the previous uh, picture? The chair is in color. <laughs> yeah, the, the seat is in uh, color. Yeah, but uh, the, the education has not really changed here. Uh, the, the, only, uh, the only thing that has changed is uh, only the seat color. Okay, uh, there is a, a, another case. This is an example of a classroom in the university. Okay, uh, if, if you see uh, there, uh, there is a per person at the end of uh, the stage. Uh, we can say, I, I, I say the, he is uh, on long distance education. Yeah. Uh, bec uh, why? Because uh, w when uh, he sit, he sit uh, at the uh, back of the stage, I'm not sure he will get uh, what the institute say in, uh, in front of uh, the class. So, yeah, it's a long distance education. Okay, uh, but the solution, uh, there are solutions in uh, invented by uh, some people in a, a few decades. It's uh, what, we call, what uh, they call a MOOC. It's a massive open uh, online course. In, I think in Japan, th there is uh, some... Uh, Massive open online course like uh, Tokyo Techs, and you know about edX Coursera. It's uh, uh, something that uh, they call a massive open online course. It's a massive because uh, more more than ten thousand or, or even one million student can join or enroll to the course, and it's also open for everyone uh, and anywhere. And of course, it's online, and it get a and there is a course inside of it. 
uh, there is also blended learning. Uh, blended learning. This is a uh, uh, enrich, uh, enrichment model of the blended learning. Blended learning is like uh, transform the offline classroom into the online classroom. So uh, the student can have, uh, get a face-to-face -face, uh, classroom, and after that, they can uh, uh, work uh, on uh, their homework uh, using the blended learning technology, like uh, assessment using, uh, using the online classroom, or they take a quiz, yeah, so something like that. OK, uh, go, go to the next one, the, the archi uh, architecture of the uh, platform that uh, we use uh, for the education technology. Yeah, this is the main archi uh, ar architecture of the OpenEDX uh, platform. There is a, a learning management system. There is a content management system, uh, which they call it uh, Studio. Uh, yeah, uh, and all of this is uh, built uh, using the using a Python. All of this is uh, a Django. There is also uh, some technology that, that they use, like uh, Elasticsearch, uh, MongoDB for the course database, uh, MySQL for the uh, student, uh, student enrollment database. But uh, let me de uh, demis uh, demystify the uh, architecture, uh, make it simple. Okay, this is the simple architecture. So th there is a Nginx uh, for the front layer, and there is a unicorn. And the center one is the, our application, which is the learning management system and our content management system. And there is also Rabbit, uh, uh, Rabbit MQ, and we also have a MongoDB, MySQL, and uh, Memcache. Okay, let, uh, let's start with uh, Nginx. Uh, so we use the Nginx as the web server, uh, and it's also for the load balancing uh, in, the, in the load balancing access. Uh, and uh, some of the process in our education technology platform is uh, like this. This is some proper uh, process uh, in Nginx. We have uh, Nginx, uh, we have a name, we have a worker, a port, and now what is the function of the uh, Nginx. And the next one is uh, we have, uh, what is that, uh, unicorn. It's a dynamic work uh, for dynamic worker management, and it's also a uh, stateless and uh, horizontally scalable. So we can use a uh, unicorn after uh, the the user passed the engine engine X platform, and after that, uh, after unicorn uh, process the the user or the access from the engine X, uh, it will go through the our application, or it can go to the memcache. Okay, this is uh, some of the process uh, that we have uh, inside of the unicorn. Yeah, the, it's, it, it have a uh, four worker. Uh, the port is uh, eight, 1810. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, to manage uh, the, the large job, uh, which is uh, there is a, uh, we, 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 uh, which uh, we have uh, more than one, for example, we have uh, more than 10,000 or 100,000 of uh, user or even one million user. Uh, our application is not uh, enough to handle the uh, user. So we, we can use the Rabbit MQ to manage uh, the large jobs uh, queuing for, for the user. And it's also uh, coordinated uh, directly by salary. Yeah, maybe I can show it uh, later for how, how it works for Rabbit uh, MQ. And this is uh, some of the process. Next is uh, for uh, Memcache. It's a high-speed uh, distributed key. So we store our user session uh, into the uh, mem Memcache. This is uh, what we use inside of the our education technology platform. Okay, this is uh, some of the process. Okay, uh, the next one is the MongoDB. Uh, we use MongoDB to store our course database, not our uh, student uh, uh, database. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, Mong MongoDB, uh, yeah, it's uh, easy for us to uh, to manage the collection of the course. And uh, for the next one, the MySQL, we have it uh, to store the structural uh, st structured user data inside of it, like a uh, username, their, their password, like a their mailing address, 
their, their uh, company name and etc. And this is uh, some of the process uh, inside of the MySQL. I think most of you already know about this. Okay. Uh, so far, uh, with the uh, architecture the, that we have, uh, we already managed uh, five MOOC in Southeast Asia, and uh, uh, it's uh, already have uh, more than 30 cores. And in uh, three countries, there is uh, Singapore, Indonesia, and uh, Hong Kong. And we already managed uh, 200,000 of uh, users inside of uh, our MOOC platform. And inside of the, the MOOC platform, there is a few uh, stakeholders inside it. There is a student, which is uh, the uh, uh, which is our focus for our education technology, who access our uh, courses, who access our learning management system, and we also have a re researcher. We also have an instructor for it and analyst for for to analyze uh, our data. Okay, okay. So what what, what actually happened in uh, our uh, education technology platform? So it's happened like uh, some of the user uh, have no it, uh, intention to complete uh, the uh, learning, yeah, because uh, like uh, they are boring. Uh, the course is not really good, and they they are also lack of time. Yeah, lack of time. Like uh, they are, they are focused on uh, working. They are focused uh, to to study uh, or, or something like that. So they have uh, no time to to do uh, assessment or even a quiz uh, using the education technology platform. Okay, and uh, there, there are some bad experience, like uh, the, the MOOC is uh, boring, and uh, the discussion forum inside of the ed education technology platform is not really good. Uh, yeah, that's uh, some of the experience that we, we have uh, when running the MOOC platform and a uh, blended learning platform. Okay. So this is uh, some uh, trial and error that uh, I do. Actually, we have uh, our our insight, but this is uh, different. This is uh, what I uh, this is a part of uh, my research. Just a trial and and an error using the database and uh, using the log of the OpenEdX platform. Okay, okay. Uh, for example, uh, so we take uh, a one course. So we take a course, uh, we have an enrolled user uh, more than 2,000, and the course category is a startup. It's a startup because in Indonesia, uh, this case is in Indonesia, in Indonesia the startup is a uh, hype. Now, I think it's uh, around the world. Okay, so from the MySQL, we, we will take uh, the student profile data, and we, uh, we also take the student course uh, enrollment data, and we will use uh, event tracking that provide by the edX, it, uh, it actually manages the event uh, of the user. For example, user ch changing their page, user access the quiz, or user uh, access the video inside of the uh, learning management platform. Yeah, yeah, you can go to the URL that I provide. This is just uh, for example. Okay. This is the Python, and this one is the output, uh, the JSON uh, output from the yeah, event tracking. Uh, you can also uh, ma ma manage this, uh, uh, I mean integrate the event tracking into your uh, MongoDB database, and you can also uh, integrate it uh, with the multiple Django application or even the new application. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is what we get from the uh, uh, the course uh, that I said before, like uh, the average age. So we can see uh, we can see that there are twenty. Uh, the user with the average age uh, twenty five is uh, more interested with the startup uh, course, and uh, 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 the user from the high uh, the higher age like a forty or fifty. Have uh, not not really have a good interest with the startup uh, course in Indonesia. And now uh, this one, most of the gender is uh, male. This is what, and this one is uh, their education. Uh, uh, this is education like uh, 
Yeah, the, the the most uh, uh the most uh, level of education that interest with uh, the startup course is from the high school, and the bachelor the and the student from the bachelor degree or first time uh, stu uh, student in the university. And this one, okay, because our user base is in Indonesia, so most of uh, our registrant is uh, come from Indonesia. But Okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what I uh, what ha what happened before I visualize uh, the data inside of uh, my slide. So actually, in the Open EDX platform, where is my terminal? So. We actually have a daily log. It's a, a generated by the event tracking that provided the, by the OpenEDX. This is the day, daily log uh, we have, uh, and okay. Yeah, here we can skip this one. It just. Okay, uh, this is for example, this is the, the name of uh, the course uh, that we have. And we, we try to, I try to create the function to extract uh, the, the data from the tracking log and make it uh, into the array. And this one for video, uh, for the user who access the video. And there is also for user who access the quiz. Uh, and. Uh, in this one, uh, we rewrite the, the new data, the new data from, uh, uh, I mean, from this one. Yeah. This is for video and problem. You can ign uh, ignore the error. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, from the data that yeah, we aggregate the data. Uh, sorry, we can use it. Uh, we can uh, we we read the data from the from this, and we make a group by it using pandas and matplotlib, and yeah, we aggregate the data and show it uh, into the matplotlib using matplotlib. This one is a for quiz. I think we can use. Uh, Yeah, uh, this is the the data uh, from uh, from the f video from the use, uh, from the event like a video, and there is a problem, uh, and the another another one is uh, for the student. So uh, we we can see this one. This is from the week one to the end of the the course. The the more user who reg uh, who register, there are more user who register into the course, but the. Uh, but uh, not uh, there are much, uh, more of them who who try to access the quiz and they are also uh, w watching the course uh, uh, watching the video inside of the education uh, technology platform that we have uh, i mean inside of the learning management system okay okay uh, this is uh, the workflow behind the the G Jupyter notebook the, that I, I saw previous, uh, there is a data acquisition, there is also enrichment, uh, and uh, there is a entity resolution, and uh, we also combine the data and uh, visualize it. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will come to the con uh, conclusion of uh, uh, this talk uh, about the uh, Python, uh, the superpower for education.
technology. So Python is a uh, uh, really good uh, to create uh, or, and uh, building the platform for like uh, learning management system and CMS to support the learning management system. And there is also support uh, for, the, for the library like uh, Memcat, RabbitMQ, and uh, Junicorn. And we, are, we also can use the different, data, uh, different database into one uh, application. And uh, to, to aggregate the data, we need to have uh, the proper way, uh, I mean the, the good uh, workflow to generate uh, uh, and visualize our data uh, to make it into the the good dashboard. Sorry, because uh, I cannot show you guys uh, our dashboard at, at this time. So, and the next one is uh, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, uh, and uh, we, we also have uh, to use uh, uh, other model or library to manage uh, our big data, like uh, when we use, uh, when we try to manage a uh, tracking log, uh, which is generated uh, every day, is uh, really a really huge, huge data. I think we cannot uh, ma manage it using a pandas or using a mat uh, matplotlib only. Uh, I think we, we have to make uh, the, the good way like uh, we can use uh, SPAR to, to manage uh, the data and uh, et cetera. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, all from me, for, uh, from my talk today. Do you have uh, any question? Okay, let's first thank uh, Risky for his talk. <laughs> and uh, we have a little bit of time for questions. Um, are there any? Going once. Going twice. <laughs> oh, come on, someone's got to have a question. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's okay. it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, sorry, uh, you, you can get uh, some of uh, my uh, my code. Uh, there, there are several code uh, inside uh, of the this GitHub repo. You can access it. But I'm not sure I'm ready to publish it.